House Speaker Kevin McCarthy's job is on the line. Some fellow Republicans are calling for his ousting after he worked with Democrats on an 11th hour deal to keep the government running. That threat comes as Congress now has until November 17th to work out a long-term government spending plan. New York House Democrat Jamal Bowman fighting Republican accusations that he was obstructing the House's work after setting off a fire alarm on Saturday. ABC News obtained a surveillance photo appearing to show Bowman activating a red alarm. Bowman said it was an innocent mistake. The Capitol Police are now investigating that incident. Another deal also struck over the weekend, avoiding a strike at Mack Trucks. The United Auto Workers and the truck maker reached a tentative agreement. UAW is now in its third week of a strike against Detroit's big three automakers. Apple is promising to roll out an update to prevent the new iPhone 15 from overheating. The company is blaming it on a software bug and other issues linked to popular apps. Instagram already made modifications to keep the phones from becoming too hot. Uber and other apps are doing the same. Get ready for a national alert test on Wednesday around 1.20 p.m. Our time, FEMA and the FCC are going to send notifications to all cell phones to make sure the nation's wireless emergency alert system works. TV and radio stations will do their own tests at the same time. The maker of One Wheel Electric Skateboards recalling all of its devices after reports of four deaths and multiple injuries. The incidents happened between 2019 and 2021. Last year, the manufacturer rejected calls for a recall, saying the product was safe. Toys R Us is getting ready to open up all over the place. The company behind the chain says the first airport store will open next month at Dallas-Fort Worth International. It also plans to open new flagship stores across the U.S. next year, and it will start putting Toys R Us shops on some cruise ships. The Powerball jackpot jumped to $1.04 billion over the weekend, and the next drawing is tonight. No one matched all six numbers in Saturday's drawing, and this would be the second largest jackpot this year, topped only by a $1.08 billion prize won on July 19th. The drawing is tonight at 10 p.m. Today, we will get a look at the new San Antonio Spurs. It is media day. The whole KSAT sports team will be there this morning. And RJ Marquez is taking over the KSAT Instagram page to give you a behind the scenes look. The Spurs start training camp tomorrow for the upcoming season. Go Spurs, go. And that's today's nine at nine. The new keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.